Okay, so I'm making the kids breakfast. Fields already had breakfast. He is an early riser, but this is what the kids have been loving lately. They have 12 grams of protein, I think, for two waffles, so six grams per waffle. Um, so they've been loving these, and I usually will give Ivy one with the butter on it. So that's what we're doing. Still working on my coffee. It is an extremely cloudy day out here. Today, I think we're supposed to get rain. So the lighting is not the best. But I am in the process of making my breakfast. Um, I just do um, two slices of this like organic bread from Aldi. Is a fire coming? Oh no, you better go put it out. Um, and then just some crunchy organic peanut butter. And that's typically what I've been craving in the mornings for breakfast. Um, it's what I crave with Ivy. So, making my breakfast, kids are playing, and it is currently 8.22. So, kids have already eaten, but, and Ivy's over there having a snack. Find it? You lost it in my room? Yeah. Okay, well let me eat breakfast and then I will help you find it, okay? Nobody's gonna help you. Hello you guys, today is VEDA day one, which if you're new here, VEDA stands for a video every day in April. So it's kind of a fun challenge that I wanted to do and I've wanted to do for a really long time. And so, <laughs> Ivy's right here now on the floor. Uh, so today is day one and this will be, in just a little bit baby I'll get you one. This will be, um, some vlogs and then just some put together videos of things or um, just a couple things I have in mind for videos 
would be like my maternity spring summer capsule wardrobe and I'm thinking about doing some home organization stuff so there will be a video every day for the month of April but it won't be vlogs some vlogs but some like actual sit down videos or other videos so that's what this month is going to entail I really hope you guys enjoy it as I take you along some vlogs may be short and sweet or longer but today, today is day one so uh, it's kind of a chill day at home and so if you guys are new here I am a mama of three little ones and then we're expecting baby number four in August I'm actually 18 and a half weeks pregnant and my other kids are four, two and a half, and one. So, a lot of little babies close in age. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope to take you guys along the day. I gotta go get lunch in the crock, or dinner in the crock pot. I'm gonna do like a wild rice, mushroom and chicken soup, and get some laundry done today. Also, I wanna show you a couple books that I recently got the kids um, that came in the mail. Super excited about those. So kind of just take you guys along the day. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, I'm getting the um, dinner ready. This is the recipe um, that I'm doing. It's a slow cooker chicken and wild rice soup. I will link it down below. I've never tried it before. I just saw this and I've been wanting to try it. It looks fairly easy, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going. Got the crock pot set up over here. So I'm gonna go cut everything up. I wanted to show you guys, I think I actually showed you guys this in, in another vlog that I forgot to upload, which I will probably upload that vlog for one of the videos for Veda, but this is the little DIY name, little thing I was telling you guys about. So that was really fun. Just some faux flowers. But anyway, this is kind of the gist of her room right now. And then this is a Rifle Paper Company print I got in the mail, which I need to hang up somewhere. So it's kind of. What are you doing, Missy? What's you doing? <laughs> so, but I think it looks really cute. Okay, so these are the books that I was telling you guys about. I actually recently bought these from uh, my sister. She had like a Osborne book party. But I love their books. All right, we just got this one in. The boys love these. And they're obsessed with bugs. So this one was a really fun one. And I know you can get these on Amazon too. Or like at Barnes and Noble and stuff. But just lots of really fun books about bugs and butterflies. And then, yeah, so we got this set. It's the peek inside. And these are so fun and so cute. And that one. So they love these. These are fun books for Noble to look at quiet time. And they're just really colorful. So these are the books that I was telling you guys about. But yeah, I think you can find them on Amazon or if you guys know anyone that does book parties. And these are always our favorites. All right, boys are getting ready to eat some lunch. I, this is more of like a hodgepodge plate is what I call it. You just kind of find what's in the fridge, what's left over, put it together, some protein, some veggies and fruit, call it good. So last night we had like some fried like egg rich sausage and so I pulled that out, some cheese pretzels and everything. So this is for lunch for the boys and then I'm gonna get Ivy something real quick. Okay, right, so now I'm gonna make myself some lunch real quick. This is honestly what I've really been enjoying is this so delicious uh, coconut milk yogurt. This is a dairy free option. And then I do about a third a cup of granola on top and then it fills me up for quite a while. So I'm gonna have that while they all eat lunch and then we'll do nap time pretty soon. Mm -hmm. 
So I just switched over to the laundry. I'm actually washing the kids' um, sheets and stuff. So I'll probably put all that stuff on tomorrow. Right now they have some of their old bedding on. But right now I'm actually getting our room ready for Noble to have quiet time in here. He usually will take a nap or have quiet time. And uh, these are the books that he's gonna look at. So, okay boys, come in. But right now they're watching a cartoon until nap time. And it's kind of, kind of the plan. So now all the blinds you should get shut. And house gets the set. Well, all the kids are down for naps, which is always like a moment where I feel like I can breathe. It has been a crazy, crazy morning today. I mean, just very, very much, there's been a lot going on. It's been kind of chaotic. <laughs> but um, we did get the books in from Amazon today. I did order a couple more books from Amazon. I think it's always nice to have fresh books to read to the kids because I get burned out reading to them if it's a book I've read a million times <laughs> and they get burned out too. So I found a couple new ones, three new ones, um, that I thought looked good. And what inspired me to get these, so I'm currently reading, I know I feel like I'm so late to the game on this book, you guys, but I'm reading Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. It is so good. I really wish I would have read this when it first came out. Everyone was telling me to read it, but I just was like, eh. Like it just didn't really interest in me. Um, but then Taylor and I watched a movie a couple nights ago and I fell in love, you guys. The movie was so good, in my opinion. I really, really enjoyed it. And just the um, South Carolina uh, pic picturesque of everything and the cinematography, just everything about it, I loved. <laughs> and so um, I was like, okay, well, I gotta read the book now. So the book is really, really good and there's a lot more to it for sure. I mean, it's still the same sort of storyline. Reese Witherspoon helped direct the movie or produce it? Produced it, yeah, she helped pr produce the movie. Um, but they did a really wonderful job with the movie. Um, and so I'm reading this book and so I'm really into that whole marsh, South Carolina look, like the Spanish moss and all of that. Uh, it just was like so beautiful. I'm really inspired by that whole vibe right now because it's just really interesting to me. Um, so I picked up some books on Amazon that I thought would be fun uh, for the kids. And so let me show you real quick. Yeah, this is my living room, you guys. <laughs> Lots of play today. Oh, we did get the rest of our sectional in. So we've got it over here. Um, I'm still picking out a rug. I think I've got the one I want picked out, but I'm really picky right now. Um, so we, I found this one. This is The Raft by Jim. Lamarch, Lamarch, and this one I thought looked really fun. So it's about a little boy, and then Rocks a Box, and I've always heard great things about. Um, and this one's really cute. I just read this one to Noble before his nap in quiet time. So this one was cute. Um, and then this one I found, Home in the Woods by Eliza Wheeler, who wrote, um, What's the one? Miss Maple? Miss Maple Seeds or whatever. I think she wrote that one or illustrated it. One of the two. And so this one is about a mom of like five or six kids. And they like move to this like shack in the middle of nowhere. And she's like raising them and stuff. So I thought that looked kind of interesting and cute. We'll see. Yeah. It says praise for Miss Maple Seeds because I think she illustrated that one. So anyway, those are the books I got the kids, and this is the book I'm reading. I'm like more than halfway through it, but it's so good. So I'm gonna read that while the kids nap, but also I did stop at Hobby Lobby yesterday. Stopped at Hobby Lobby yesterday and picked up a couple art supplies for myself. Um, I've really been into painting. I used to paint all the time before I had babies. <laughs> Like I did, I seriously painted all the time. Um, so I picked up a new watercolor palette, um, some drawing pencils, and some micron pens, just two different sizes. And then a paintbrush set, and then this like watercolor book. Um, so 
kind of something to do. I don't have a ton of free time, but I've really been wanting to paint again. I tried acrylics uh, before I moved a couple months ago and I really enjoyed it, but I really just love watercolor. Watercolor is like my thing. So maybe this weekend I'll get a moment and I can play around with this. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy my book for a little bit and just chill. <laughs> Oh, you guys, this soup smells absolutely amazing. Um, I have to do a couple more things like 30 minutes before it's getting done. Um, like I have to create like a roux. So um, yeah, so I'll create the roux and then I'll pour in all the cream and stuff. I'll link it down below. Well, you guys, I just got in another package. Today is, I guess, mail day. <laughs> Um, I ordered two dresses from Pink Blush Maternity for Easter, and I can also still wear these outside of Easter, but uh, the kids' shirts and stuff and Ivy's dress um, has pink in it, and so I didn't have anything pink, <laughs> and so I really wanted to do pink because Ivy's sash on her Easter dress is pink, and I showed these pieces of clothing in my kids' clothing capsule wardrobe video. Um, but these are the dresses I picked out. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them both, but I just wanted to get two to try on to see which one I like the most. I may end up keeping them both because they were on sale, but who knows? They said this one ran really small, so I got a medium just in case. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be too big, but we'll see. And then this one I got in a small. But these are, I'll have to link them down below of which ones I chose. Super cute, but I'm going to try these on and see what I think. Um, yeah, can't wait. Okay guys, here's this one. It's kind of like a Swiss, I have the wrong bra, wrong color bra on, so just ignore that. It's like a Swiss dot kind of fabric. Um, but I really, I like this one. It is, it like goes right, it goes right above your knee. Ivy was playing with this toothbrush. <laughs> um, right above your knee, um, which is nice. It's not like, Super short. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm trying to show you. <laughs> I may have to go in the garage. <laughs> Let me go in the garage because there's a workout mirror in there. Mommy. Hang on, baby. Okay, ignore the messiness of our garage. Taylor works out right here. Okay. Oh, this is cute. I like this. This is really cute. Okay, I definitely will need like some sort of like sandal for it. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. But yeah, that's really cute. I like that one. It'd be cute for Easter. And it does have pockets. So that's nice. So there's one. You guys, I don't think I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I feel like I look like a, um, no offense if any of you guys are Mennonite, but I feel like I look like a Mennonite woman <laughs> with this dress on, especially with these sleeves. Um... It's really cute, it's extremely long. Uh, I really like the floral on it. I'll have to ask my husband, but for me, I don't know. I need to go look and see what I think. Okay, yeah, this is definitely, this is definitely a no. <laughs> it is, okay, this is the medium, and I will say the medium fits exactly perfect, fits perfectly, so if you guys want something that looks like this, um, get the medium, because it, it does run small, but the medium fits me perfectly. Um, I'm 18-ish weeks pregnant, so not not a big belly yet, but yeah, really pretty fabric. It's um like the really flowy that just kind of drapes over you, but yeah, not not crazy about this dress. It looks a little too yeah, no. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. It is almost three o'clock. Kids found a box of band-aids, you guys. So they're putting band-aids all over each other. Which honestly I really don't care right now because I'm having a lot of like pain. I feel like I pulled a muscle in my like stomach um ab area, like right here. It's like right there. I I know I pulled it yesterday when I picked up Field, and he's my more <laughs> needier child that wants to be out a lot. And so I'm really working to like get him not to want to be held. Um.
um, I'm having to tell him no a lot and like snuggle him on the couch to like give him that lovely bridge of physical touch to be legs. Um, but in the process, I pulled a muscle doing that, picking him up yesterday, and he's like 35 pounds. So I'm in a lot of pain right now. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like, you know what, just play with band aids. Um, I've been watching Emily Faith on YouTube. I really love her YouTube channel. So that's what I'm doing right now. And Ivy is just tagging along. She's getting so big, you guys. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video of Veda Day One. And I'm not sure what the next couple videos will be. Maybe this week will be vlogs or something else. But I know tomorrow I'm probably gonna upload that video that I filmed like several uh, weeks ago. And I was probably like 15 or 16 weeks pregnant. So it's a little bit old. Maybe two weeks old, but I hope you guys enjoy that. Hopefully it'll be another little fun vlog for you guys. But I will see you guys later. Bye.